Hi, my name is Yash Patel of the Champions League Exchange blog. Today I wanted to try and teach you guys what every soccer position does and where they play so that you guys can have an easier time understanding what you're watching the next time you decide to turn on a soccer game. This video is for those of you who are new to the beautiful game and want to learn more about what you are doing or what you are watching. We will start with the defense and work our way up the pitch. First we have the goalkeeper whose main purpose is to protect the goal and act as the very last line of defense for stopping the other team from scoring. Keepers can use their hands, but only when they are inside the 18 yard box. Goalies are the commander of the entire defense and they help to make sure that everybody is organized and in the correct position. They're the easiest position on the field to spot because they will be in their own 18 yard box and they are the only player on the field wearing a different color uh, jersey than everybody else. This is Manuel Neuer the greatest goalkeeper of all time. Next we have fullbacks and the term fullback refers to either a left or a right back depending on which side of the field they're playing on. Their main purpose is to, to, is to defend the wide flanks of the field. They do venture up the pitch sometimes and provide overlapping and underlapping runs for the wide players. This helps to create a numerical advantage in the attacking third. These players are usually very quick and able to attack and defend. They are usually the furthest player back on either side of the field, left or right, and this is a heat map of a, where a fullback plays. The red shows where they are the most, and yellow and green. Next we have a wing back. They play a very similar role as a fullback, but they play a bit further up. They are much more attacking than the fullbacks, and are usually found on the wide flanks of the field as well. If they are wing backs, it is typically because there are three center backs playing at the same time. This is Italian wingback Spinazzola, who recently helped his team win the Euros. Finally, in the defense, we have center backs. They are the main defenders in the defense. Their job is to protect the goal and stop the opposing forwards. They must be coordinated in order to maintain a straight back line so they can catch the opponents off sides. They also provide long balls to the forwards occasionally. They are found in front of the goalkeepers and in between the two fullbacks or wingbacks. This is Virgil van Dijk. He is considered to be the best center back in the world right now, and this is a heat map of where a center back would be. Next we move into the midfield. There are three types of central midfielders, box-to-box -box midfielders, central defensive midfielders, and central attacking midfielders. The box-to-box -box midfielders run up and down the field and play on both sides of the ball. The central defensive midfielders mainly defend and stay further back than the rest of the midfield. They intercept passes and win the ball back. Central attacking midfielders are further forward than the rest of the midfield and they create chances for the forwards. This is Kevin De Bruyne. He's a central attacking midfielder for Manchester City and one of the best central attacking midfielders in the world right now. And this is a heat map of a box-to-box -box midfielder. You can see that they cover the midfield and from each box. Next we have wide midfielders and the wingers. They help carry the ball up the field through the wide flanks. These players are very fast and are great dribblers. Wide midfielders and wingers play the same role, but the midfielders stay a little further back than the wingers. This is Lionel Messi, widely considered to be the greatest winger, greatest player of all time. And you can see that they're usually in the attacking half of the field. Next we have forwards. Strikers are the main attacking threat of the team. They are expected to find a way to finish the chances made by the rest of the team. They also create chances for the uh, others on the field. Strikers are usually the player that is the furthest up on the field and they lurk in the opponent's 18 yard box. This is Robert Lewandowski. He is the striker for Bayern Munich and Poland and he's the best striker in the world right now. You can see that he tends to stay inside of the opponent's box most of the time. That's it for today. I hope you all enjoyed and I hope you all learned something new today about the beautiful game. Now you can go watch the Champions League and other soccer games with a deeper understanding of what the players are doing on the field. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you want to read more about the Champions League now that you know more, uh, what the players are doing, head to my blog, The Champions League Exchange. The link is in the description. Thank you for watching.